Hi everyone, it's Sandra. It's been 10 days since we looked in on these baby European night crawlers. Let's take a look and see how these babies are growing. Now, Anne is the person who gave me these baby worms. She's also the person who grew some pretty giant European night crawlers. And I think I have some of the stock in here. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take a page from not only... Oh, Look at there's a worm. Not only from my uh, worm science video on how to make worms grow gigantic, that's a pretty big euro growing there, so, but also Anne's experience on how she grew these euros gigantic. And I'm going to be feeding them some food today that I think will make them grow extra big. At least that's what the research said. I, I can't quite duplicate it, but I hope I'm going to get close. Okay, so obviously we've seen two very big euros right in the middle there. So our babies are growing. Let's turn over. I'm not expecting them to be in this zone anymore if they're that big. Let's see, where are they? Oh, we have babies. We have, look at how much they've grown in 10 days. 10 days ago, they were tiny. Now look at them. They are growing. In fact, let me just take this piece of cardboard here and we'll put some of these babies and there's a clump of them I, maybe that's a breeding thing going on I'm not sure let's see it as it unravels let's put some of these babies on this cardboard and see how big they are yep and we've got some lovely healthy worms here and they are growing. In fact, those that is a breeding party going on there. So they're not only growing, they are already finding each other. Wonderful. Okay, so I should have several hundred of them in here, all told. Uh, but obviously these guys are big enough now that they've moved out of their baby zone and uh, converted it to vermicompost already. I see no sign of the original bedding anymore. So lots of babies are, they're now juveniles. They're now growing. In fact, some of them are adults. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a total bin stir, and then we're going to feed these babies some microbial rich food so that they will grow up even bigger. We're going to see how big we can make these worms grow. All right, so let me just put those babies back there and we'll stir this side of the bin up first and then we'll get to the other side where I buried the borage leaves and see if the other worms in this bin have made short work of those as well. Remember, the euros weren't the only worms in here. There were some worms from my compost as well as my mostly processed leaf mold that were bin mates, uh, keeping this area nice and microbial rich so that when the euros moved in, they were moving into some lovely vermicompost. And look at this. Obviously, I've been feeding scantily. I didn't want to overfeed those babies. We tried giving them some cracker crumbs, and then we tried giving them the borage leaves, and then just a few juices from a feeding container. And so now I think it's time that they start their regular diet. I'll just move this out of the way. These are just leaves that I think from Comfrey that I grabbed when I was down here the other day. So let's turn up the rest of the bin and see whether the other Comfrey leaves have disappeared, or the borage leaves have disappeared. I buried them under this end. Oh, no, they wasn't all the way under. And it's still, it's still in the state of being decomposed, but not gone. So all these leaves will form part of today's feeding. You might notice fungus gnats coming out of this. This is now an outdoor worm bin and I'm afraid the fungus gnats have discovered it. So when and if this bin 
goes indoors again, I'm going to have to mitigate that. Okay, so a lovely worm bin here. Gus, you're doing well. Here's a big stalk of something. So let's bury those leaves. We'll do this far end as the feeding zone. I'll throw uh, this clumpy bedding material into that zone, as well as these old leaves. Then uh, I'm going to give these worms some feet, food, but first I'm actually going to give them a shot of microbes. I think this is the answer to gigantic Icenia species, whether it be the Fetida, the red wigglers, or the Hortensis, the uh, European night crawlers. And that is, you want to really keep the microbe uh, levels of your bin as rich as possible. And so this is a dump of our compost. I've got one more leaf here. And then this is a dump of our mostly processed leaf mold. So look at the microbes that are coming into this system already in that material. Now I'm going to feed this food. Now this is a lot of food. I'm just trying to assess probably, probably a little much for these worms. So I'll keep a little bit out still. Then I'm going to top up with some more browns. It's got some of our big needles in there, but that again is a nice shot of microbial rich food. So this is uh, where the euros, we're going to find them probably when we come in here next, give some extra eggshell grit and said the uh, calcium uh, the euros do very well with extra calcium. So there we go. Our babies are growing up and even making babies of their own in Gus. So I'm delighted to see that. Hopefully we'll have a worm party going on when we come in here next time in the feeding zone. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.